The Albany Fire Department says they need new fire trucks. WALB News 10's Gabrielle Tate reports how firefighters say these much needed improvements will benefit you at home. Chief Cedric Scott tells me the new equipment is much needed and will ultimately help the quality of their responses. The department presented its case for purchasing three new pumper trucks for over $3 million. Funding for this project would be budgeted and SPLOS. The pumper trucks carry the water and hoses and serve as the initial truck that arrives on scene to extinguish fires. The trucks that we've had, um, they're beginning to, to get some age on them, and so it's now it's time to replace them. And as we talked about today, they're possibly three years out from arriving, so we're trying to, to get approval now so that when that order is made, then um, it will time out perfectly uh, to come in and then make those replacements. The trucks would not arrive until 2026, and Chief Scott says they are expecting all the latest and greatest updates. The technology on fire trucks continues to improve, and we've made, I think, strides with uh, rollover protection for our vehicles, moving to a clean cab technology to protect our firefighters from the carcinogens, cancer causing uh, toxins that are out there. We, went into this clean cap technology approach. The department is working with officials when it comes to the budget. We're just so grateful that the SPLOS is in place. It allows uh, the county to make these kinds of purchases. The significant uh, investment, of course, is made in public safety, and it's certainly helped by um, when the SPLOS is approved and allow those dollars to be put in place for these, for these uh, very expensive purchases. The vote for the new trucks will take place next Monday. Gabrielle Tate, WALB, your hometown news source.